Video is under fair use. This video is created for tutorial, specific process, and educational purposes only. The images used in this video were based on the POEA official website. All rights and credits go directly to its rightful owners. No copyright infringement intended. The contents of this video were based on the POEA official website, EPS Topic Registration Guide, Implementation of the Second Round of Test of Fourth Point System, February 21, 2020, and EPS Advisory Number 1 Series of 2020 Online Registration for CY 2020 Point System of the Employment Permit System, Test on Proficiency in Korean, EPS Topic, on January 14, 2020. Many are asking how to apply, and what is the job application process here in South Korea, and one of them is from Marky TV. I already answered his questions, but let me share a more detailed information about how to apply a job in South Korea through EPS program. The manufacturing job is one of the job order agreements between the Philippines and South Korea. Watch in Die in Korea's next video about how to apply and what are the processes to get a job in South Korea as a factory worker under the Employment Permit System, EPS, South Korea. Let's start with the simplest but one of the most important things to have to start. Everything. Make sure the applicant has a passport valid for one year. Next, visit the POEA website, http, slash slash online services dot poea dot government ph slash online services slash poea online dot asks and create an ereg account to create an account. On this website, you will see this sign up and get your e-registration number here, or log in to your account to update your profile, and important details required to get hired for a job abroad. Enter the email address when you already have an account. If you do not have yet an account type click register, and you will be taken to a new window. Here are the reminders. 1. Use only an active email address for account registration. This will enable you to receive the email confirmation for the account activation in the e-registration system v.2. 2. If no email confirmation is received, do not attempt to create or register another account by altering or changing the personal information, for example. First name, middle name, last name, birthday, and passport number. 3. Ensure that the information provided here is true and correct to the best of your knowledge. 4. Any false information misinterpretation provided may result in the cancellation of your privilege to use the e-registration system v.2 and disqualification of your application. 5. If you have encountered any problems, you may call or ask help from your crewing or manning agency because they are in direct contact with POEA or contact POEA directly with these contact details. Remember that EPS Working Jobs has no other agency or placement fee collected because this is a government-to-government -government agreement. Manpower Registry Division's telephone numbers are 722-1172 or 722-1173. POEA hotlines are 722-11-44 or 722-11-55. Email info at poea.gov.ph After registering with POEA, prepare yourself by learning South Korean language. This will help you in passing the exam. There are review centers in the Philippines that offer classes, and there are other applicants too who choose to do self-study than enrolling in a review center. Assess your ability and choose according to your preference on how to prepare for the exam. Wait for the announcement from the Philippine Overseas Employment Administration to register. But so far there has been no announcement due to the pandemic. Please visit www.poea.gov.ph and check if it's open for registration. To register, applicants should fill up all relevant data fields requested by the system. Attach to the application the following, scanned copy of the first page of the passport, data page only, JPG format, and the size is 1 megabyte. Note, pictures taken through cameras or smartphones will be rejected. ID picture is accepted in accordance with the detail picture regulation of Korea. Remember that only white background is accepted, colored background is not. Acceptable, 
The size is 3.5 cm by 4.5 cm, 100 up to 300 pixels, and a maximum of 15 KB, or JPG format. These are the lists of rejected picture types, 1. With name or nameplate. 2. With border line. 3. In colored background. 4. With a headdress. 5. Upper head does not appear. 6. With stain, usually of stamp or dirty copy. 7. Wearing white clothes. 8. Wearing eyeglasses. 9. Person in side view. 10. Picture captured or edited on passport copy. Ensure correctness and completeness of the information provided. There are additional reminders too. Remember that no editing of encoded data will be entertained after submission. Always visit the POEA website to be updated. When registering online, prepare your scanned copy of your passport and picture and exam fee and registration fee. Make sure the scanned documents are properly scanned and each of them must not be blurred. These are some of the reasons why the application is not accepted or entries are rejected. There are also important reminders that you need to remember, the grounds for disqualification in the registration. 1. Submission of false information and fake documents. 2. Double registration using different credentials. 3. Incorrect or wrong encoding of information or data. The online registration shall be open to all interested applicants, preferably males, because most of the jobs are described as 3Ds which means dirty, difficult, dangerous. If you have successfully registered, wait for the schedule of the exam. And these exams are either PBT, or which stands for paper-based test, or CBT which stands for computer-based test. The announcement will be very specific on the test. Date, time, and location. After successfully passing the Korean language test, the successful applicants will continue to the next step and continue the process by taking another test, which is the skills test. Please check the video description on this video for more and detailed information about the skills test. The skill test has three parts. These are physical strength, interview, and basic skills. For the basic skills test, as the new task has been added to one's competence, Candidates will select the subcategory of each industry they were applying for under the manufacturing industry. This includes 1. Assemble. 2. Measure. 3. Wood joinery. And for physical test, physical examination on finger, disc, and color blindness will primarily be tested during the course of the skills test. For the physical test, they test your hand grip and your back muscle strength. Remember that even if one color blind took the test, the test will be null and void. And for the interview, this will assess your Korean language skills. Your chance to be included as one of the successful passers depends on your scores. The scores will be ranked properly. The higher your score is the higher your chance to be hired. The total score is 200 points, for the first round it has 100 points. And that is the EPS topic and another 100 points. For the second round round skills test. Which is divided into three parts. The first part is the physical strength, which is 30 points. The interview is 30 points. And the basic skills is 40 points. And competency test which refers to job experience, training, certificates. But as February 21st, 2020 to avoid contact with test takers to prevent the spread of coronavirus the fourth point system in the Philippines competency test has not been conducted. As of January 2020, these are the qualifications of EPS workers according to the EPS Advisory No. 1 series of 2020 online registration for CY 2020 point system of the Employment Permit System, Test on Proficiency in Korean, EPS Topic. For those still interested to apply slash register, Please be guided as follows, qualifications requirements, 1, between 18 to 38 years old, not exceeding 38 years old on the test date. 2, have not stayed in the Republic of Korea for 5, 5, years or more. 3, no derogatory record, not convicted of a crime punishable by imprisonment, or a more severe punishment. 4, no record of deportation or departure orders from the Republic of Korea. 
5. Not restricted to depart from the Philippines. 6. No physical and medical handicaps that will hamper work efficiency, for example, Ishihara deficient, color blindness or weakness, slip disc, finger amputation, no tuberculosis, TB, history. For more questions and information, you can call or email the official contacts of the POEA Philippine Hotlines, 722-11-44 or 722-11-55. Or you can email them at info at poea.gov.ph. So that's very detailed tips and guide on how to apply for a job in South Korea as an EPS worker through POEA. If you find this video useful and informative for the viewers don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe and die in Korea channel. Thank you for watching.